I'm starting to feel like the 2021 Cars diecast line is just like 2019 Part 2. We're getting so many cars that were supposed to be released uh, back at the end of 2019 when Mattel infamously canceled like two cases worth of cars. But in addition to that, we're also getting a lot of cars that weren't supposed to be released in 2019, but seem like they would have been, like new next-gen tractors and new legends. We had a lot of next-gen tractors and legends in 2019. And in addition to that, we're getting a lot of re-releases of next-gen tractors and legends. And one of those re-releases is this guy right here, the Bumper Save Racing Tractor, of course, Paul Conrev uh, as a tractor. Um, when Cruz imagines the racers as a tractor. Personally, I consider this a variant of Paul Conrev, but I know some people probably don't. I'm going to display him with my Paul Conrevs, even though it probably just totally, like, ruins the flow of my shelf when suddenly in the middle of my Paul Conrev collection there's a tractor, but whatever. I think that's fine, and honestly, I think that's kind of funny. He was originally released in a two-pack with Rusty's Cruz, but I never found that two-pack. All of these guys were super rare when they came out. The only one I found in a store was the Revengo tractor. I still don't have the shiny wax one. But I'm so glad that this guy got a single release and that was how I was able to find him because I'm able to save some money and I don't have to pick up him in a two-pack with a car I already have. Anyway guys, welcome back to yet another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at, as I already said, the Bumper Save Racing Tractor. So let's get started. I just got to say, I absolutely love the artwork they use for all of these next-gen tractors. They're always so funny. They're just like perfect tractor expressions there. The cool thing about these guys is that they're singles, whereas previous tractor releases uh, were deluxes, but you could tell they just barely fit in a single uh, bubble there. Of course, we have the metal logo on the 2021 cars, which I just find something funny about that. The point that they just need to tell you they're metal. Hey, hey you, metal, this is made of metal. Um, Moving on to the back, you can see as seen in Cars 3 with Smokey, Jackson Storm, Jambalaya, Chimichanga. We can assume that's, yeah, that's track damage crews. Sheldon Shifter, Hot Rod Junior Moon, Pushover, and H.J. Hollis. Nobody really all that exciting. So let's get this guy out of the package here. I was really impressed by the Revengo tractor when I reviewed him um, last year. They do such a great job packing in all the details of the race cars onto the tractors, and it's really cool that they're making a bunch of these now. So here is the bumper save tractor out of the package. As you can see, he's the same size and shape as the other tractors. This is the 2017 Cars 3 tractor release. Although he does have his own separate expression, which is really nice, with the mouth open. I want to say the Revengo tractor might have had that expression too. Of course, he's fully painted in Paul Conrev's color scheme. He's got a pretty sleepy facial expression there. We've got the Bumper Save logo up there in the front, right behind the smokestack. And uh, moving on to the side, you can see there's nothing really representing the red bumper on Paul Conrev, but that's all right. Moving on to the side, you can see all of Paul Conrev's side details have been translated onto the tractor. Uh, over here, right above, where you can see like some of the inner workings of the tractor. We've got his secondary sponsors, Piston Cup, Combustor, Carbon Cyber, and Synergy. We've got the 90 and the S's, or dollar signs, the other S's, um, just like on the side of Paul, of course, all squished to fit up here. You've got the giant Lightyear logo on his tires, and even a smaller two Lightyear logos down here. Red, just like Paul Conrev's tires, although... Unfortunately, these wheels are too small to be colored in. We've got a numbered 90 up top there. Moving on to the back, we've got another bumper save logo. He even has his rookie stripes. Now, he's missing his back lights, but that makes sense because the tractor wouldn't have back lights. And again, he's also missing anything that would um, represent the red spoiler. I feel like he's just missing a bit of the red on Paul on him. But he looks really cool. He looks really good. And they did such a great job translating all of Paul Conrev's details, or at least as many as they could, onto this tractor. And of course, you're not going to have the spoiler and some other things like that, but they really did the best that they could, and he looks really great. It's, it's just so cool to see uh, how well they translate the details of this guy onto a tractor. He even has the arrow down there, just like on the real Paul, which I just realized. That's just such a nice touch. These tractors are so well made. I'm so glad 
that we're going to be getting more. There's the base complete with the udder, which is always just a funny detail that they put on the bottom of the tractors. By the way, for those of you wondering, he does not have a matte paint job, whereas the other tractors do. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now. Thank you.